Today, we are going to learn how to make an altar floral arrangement, and this will be used for a wedding ceremony in a church. So we'll go over supplies and also the fresh product that we'll be using today. This is Pinky with Pinky Rose Floral, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, we'll learn about floral design basics and advanced tips, different types of flowers, both fresh and silk, and different ways to apply them into your daily life and for your special events. Join me and learn the different facets of floral design. So today we'll be using an unseen container. This is made out of plastic. Um, three bricks out of fresh floral foam. These two have been soaked with water today and this one will show you how to soak. We've got some anchor tape, very similar to duct tape. My floral knife, don't leave home without it. And some cutting shears or floral cutters. The fresh product that we'll be using today would be the white rose. So we're gonna do all monochromatic, stay with the singular white rose, so very classic look for a wedding. All of our roses have different names or varieties and her name is called Mondial. Mondial has a very creamy white, has a little bit of the green edges. To play off that green, we'll accent with the green hypericum berry, which are very cute, gives it a different texture. Also, we'll be accenting with a pretty baby blue eucalyptus. And I like using the, the baby blue eucalyptus because it's very tall, gives us some height and also a different texture. And to cover our mechanics, which is number one in floral design, is to cover your mechanics. We'll be covering our mechanics and also giving accent to our rose by using a leather leaf guys have probably seen this greenery used often in different floral arrangements. One other piece we'll be using would be the birch branch. Because it is fall, we're going to use uh, the birch branch, which has a pretty linear shape. It has that deep dark brown and we'll provide um, height and almost like a little bit of a backdrop to our piece using the birch branch. We're gonna start with our container and we call this a, a design dish and it's an unseen container. So at the end of our arrangement, once we finish making it, you won't really be able to see it. We've got three bricks of foam, two bricks. We've already soaked, so they're quite heavy. And so this one will go ahead and soak and you can get them at your local craft store. And what's really important about your brick is that you just want to have it float. So we're not going to force it onto the water. You're just going to have it float and sink so it fills evenly with water and there aren't any holes or air pockets to where once you have your insertions for your flowers, all of your flowers are soaking up water. So we're gonna have that one soak a little bit and you can see it's sinking evenly into the water. These two bricks are quite heavy and we're gonna just stick these two together and go even down into our container in order to fit onto these two sides of your design dish. We're gonna just make an imprint on one of the sides. And so you can see it has like a little half moon here. And what I'm going to do is just gonna split this in half in an angle. So I'm gonna go just in a straight line. And then since my design dish angles down, I'm going to angle down and come across and then meet back. And so we're gonna do that one more time. So we split this in half. Okay, and then you're gonna slowly, oh, okay, there we go. So it cracks this way. And we're going to do our imprint and here our imprint are on the corners. We're gonna trim this so this will fit into our container. And we're gonna do the same on this side. Cracked a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, 
So now that we have all of our foam in place, we're actually going to go ahead and anchor it with our tape. We want to make sure um, the sides where we're going to anchor are dry. Take our tape just over um, the lip just a little bit and we're going to kind of tug on it and then with our knife So once that's secure, I'm going to go over it just a little bit as a T and do the same on this side. So we have our anchoring tape, we've secured it. Now we're going to give our foam some more water and we're just going to fill this with just a little bit of water. Because this is going to be a one-sided arrangement, this piece will have a back and then the front. So our roses will appear this way and our greenery or the back, the backdrop of our piece will be on this side. Um, so again, we're, we'll be using Mondial, the Mondial rose. Whether it's a big piece or a small piece, any size, I will always start with the height of the piece. So since um, we have variant sizes of our uh, roses, I'm going to choose one of our taller roses. You can blow on your rose to kind of release the, the petals a little bit. The outside petals are called guard petals, so we can remove some of those petals that may be damaged. I'm gonna look on top to make sure um, there's symmetry on our rows. Again, um, release some, some of the petals. And then from our rows, now we are kind of lucky because this one doesn't have a lot of uh, thorns. I'm gonna remove some of the bottom leaves and really just kind of eyeball my stem just to see how um, the leaves are looking. Because we're using foam and not um, an arrangement in a vase, we don't want any leaves to actually touch the water. So oftentimes when our leaves are touching the water, it's degrading our water and um, that's gonna start to make our arrangement smell or um, the bacteria or the decay from the leaves. So from our rows once that's done I like to use a knife but definitely we have flower cutters or stem cutters these are actually better than scissors because you want to make a at least a 45 degree angle on your cut and this will just show you guys as an example this will allow um, a bigger area for for your flowers to absorb water for intake versus if it's straight and flush, it'll just be flush to whatever the bottom of your base or the foam, so it won't intake the water as much. So definitely you want to cut your flowers in an angle. We want to see where our front of our rose is happening and I'm going towards the back and our insertion is there. This is what I'm seeing. So about um, kind of two thirds of the way towards the back, the insertion, and this has a natural bend, so our flowers are facing forward, and that um, determines the height of my arrangement. So now I'm gonna, just because this is gonna be a symmetric kind of a round arrangement, we'll go from left to right in opposite directions, and then kind of fill in depth wise. And we're just gonna do the same thing. Any leaves that are falling off, that's okay. We can just take them off. Um, our guard petals for removing, releasing any of the, the rose petals. Gonna eyeball. This one is gonna be at an angle. So rule of thumb definitely for floral designs is that you can always trim your stem shorter, but you can't do an extension. So if you cut too short, it's always best to um, conservatively cut. So 
you can always trim back and this will go this way. our outline of our flowers. We want to go ahead and connect the dots and fill in. Obviously, we're going to cover our foam. We want to make sure that um, we fill in with some greenery and just kind of make this one whole piece. And one great um, greenery is this leather leaf and we want to make sure we're getting a nice clean cut as well that your leather leaf becomes really mossy so we want to make sure that it's clean we'll give it some shine and this will just give it a nice little collar we want to accent it just a little bit and um, any bad leaves we are going to trim and sometimes you'll get a few insertions on from one step so we'll go ahead and just fill in with our greenery the back and covering my bone to show you guys what I'm doing. So the back, we don't want to have exposed with the foam. So we want this back to be finished as well. So we're gonna finish this with a little, um, with a little tutu with the greenery and just to make sure our back side looks nice. So now we have our greenery in place. We want to continue on and add like a second greenery to add a little bit more dimension and texture, some depth, and also our accent, what we call an accent flower. In this case, it's the Hypericum berry. So we'll go ahead and do that. of the Hypericum berry. And so now we want to come back through and add some eucalyptus. Okay, now, now that we have all of our um, pieces in, we're going to go ahead and spray it. We're going to do a once over and make sure all of our insertions are good. Um, again, this is a, a very symmetric arrangement, so we want to make sure um, there's enough spacing. Um, the most important piece I think you want to, I want to point out is that for our accent pieces, meaning the leather leaf, the greenery, and the accent um, hypericum. We don't want it to hover over or to overpower our rose. So our rose being our focal flower, and that's our main piece, so everybody else is secondary. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a nice spray, and then this piece will be ready to go. Okay, now that our piece is done, 
we want to do a kind of a topper, kind of the topper on your cake are our birch branches. So to give it now a little bit more height than kind of more of a fall look, we're going to add some of these pieces of the birch branch. Um, we're going to eyeball the height of them and then take our cutters and then place them so this piece will go here and it's all about the angles and let's see this piece will go here and let's save this piece for something else our piece ready we want to just do a nice good spray I like to use crowning glory um, I use half crowning glory and half water into just a, a clean spray bottle we're gonna give our roses a nice spray this actually helps kind of slow the the browning process onto our fresh flowers also gives it a nice uh, fresh shine onto our greenery our eucalyptus um, varieties, I don't need to spray so much because sometimes it takes it in and it'll make it a little bit spotty. So my main um, piece would be to spray our roses. And also we can spray our hypericum berries and voila we are done there you guys have it our floral piece is done this is our one-sided altar floral arrangement perfect for your wedding ceremony in a church or outdoor if you like this video and learned something today feel free to subscribe and like also leave in the comments any future topics you'd like for us to cover or any flowers you'd like to see thank y'all so much for stopping by see you next time